Hi, so we're here to talk about skincare again. So uh, I know that there are a lot of people out there who struggles with acne and most of the time I notice that they tend to struggle with finding the right skincare product and they struggle with building the right skincare routine as well. I've seen a lot of people online buy many like expensive skincare products only to find out that they don't work and when this happens consistently most of them will just end up being like I've tried everything and nothing works and you know there must be something really wrong wrong with me internally and uh, they either just continue going through this cycle of buying new products and then breaking out, buying new products and breaking out or they resort to extreme measures, extreme and unnecessary measures such as Accutane, steroids, uh, expensive laser treatments and stuff. I used to be like that too for like an entire year I would say because I was listening to all the wrong advices. I was listening to advices from YouTubers who already had clear and generally unproblematic skin. I was trusting really famous YouTubers who let's be real doesn't really know anything about skincare and most of all I was trusting um, manufacturers. I was trusting marketing labels. So once I've learned more about the ingredients that I'm putting on my skin and the science behind acne and our body, the path to clear skin is all of a sudden so clear and easy. So I had mild acne or that was actually what I thought. I actually only had like a couple of spots but I thought I had mild acne. People who saw me a year ago wouldn't even consider that I have acne problems. Uh, so looking back, I don't know why the hell I freaked out about it but I did and then I started um, going through this series of trial and error with many different crappy products. Those products, they made me go from mild acne to like full-blown acne. Like everyone could suddenly tell that I have acne problems. So when treating acne, skincare is the biggest contributor and it's also the easiest to change and incorporate. If you find yourself needing to limit and restrict your diet, um, balance your hormones, keep everything antibacteria in order to keep your skin clear. If you find yourself needing to take extreme unnecessary measures such as Accutane um, or paying thousands and thousands of dollars to go for laser treatments, chemical peels in order to keep your skin clear. If you are breaking out because of really insignificant things like a little bit of stress or not changing your pillowcases for a day or um, eating a bag of chips, it's because your skincare is not helping. In fact, for many people, their skincare routine is actually worsening their skin. Which is why they need to work really hard on their diet and their lifestyle and their hygiene. So today I want to share with you guys the changes that I did to my skincare routine that really helped me get out of this struggle with acne. Number one, stop using facial oils. Many people, I don't know, YouTubers, companies who sell facial oils, they're gonna tell you how you can heal your acne with facial oils. They're gonna tell you all the benefits of facial oils. And yes, facial oils do have skincare benefits, but what no one tells you is that they are also clogging as hell, regardless of its comedogenic rating. Even an oil with a zero comedogenic rating can cause clogging. In addition, I actually went to Google some of the benefits of some really popular facial oils like jojoba oil, rosehip oil, blah 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 and like the articles they all contain like really misleading information. For example, one of the websites says that oils are deeply hydrating and moisturizing and that is completely untrue because oils are not moisturizers, they are not hydrators, they do not provide any moisture or hydration. The reason why oils feels hydrating is because they slow down evaporation, so they slow down the loss of moisture. Um, but you know, for many people, they think like oil is moisturizing and so I can just use oil as a moisturizer, but you know, in actual fact, you're just sealing in dehydrated skin. You know, oil will be useful if you apply a moisturizer first and then oil on top to seal in a moisturizer, but not just like oil on its own. Oil on its own is not a moisturizer. I've seen people, they swear by some facial oils like rosehip oil or hemp seed oil. You know, they say that it really helps their acne scars fade away and 
um, I feel like if you really want to get out of this struggle, you have to look at the bigger picture. You know, a lot of people just focus on one fact that, you know, rosehip oil helps fade acne scars, but they don't see the other fact, and that is rosehip oil can cause clogging. So yeah, I feel like if you want to fade hyperpigmentation or acne scars, there are a lot of other choices that you can go for and not just oils. <laughs> this also means that you should stop using oil-based cleansers or oil-based makeup removers. It is untrue that oil oil-based cleansers does a better job at removing makeup as compared to water-based cleansers. So recently I saw a really popular influencer, uh, obviously I'm not gonna name her out, uh, she was advising her followers on Instagram to remove their makeup with an oil, like just one pure oil. And this isn't the first time I've seen someone say like they use like pure oil to remove their makeup and I mean if you really think about it, what properties does an oil have that actually cleanses? Imagine you have a dirty plate and it has a sauce on it and the sauce has dried up so it is sticking onto the plate and then you take some oil, you put it onto the plate and you start rubbing it around. Are you actually cleaning the plate? You're not. You're just rubbing the sauce all around the plate and then you rinse it off with water which is why the plate looks clean when in reality it's not because you know there's still like oil in there. Removing makeup with pure oil or using pure oil as a cleanser is the most stupidest thing you can ever do because you're just wasting time and money. At least for oil-based cleansers, they contain some cleansing ingredients that will actually cleanse your skin. It is just not recommended for people with acne prone skin because it is prone to clog your pores. <sighs> Number two, stop using drying sensitizing ingredients such as alcohol, SLS, essential oils and fragrance. When you have acne, you have wounds on your face and so what you want to do or what you should do is to create a good healing environment for your skin to heal. By using drying alcohols, essential oils, fragrance and all that crap, you're not only sabotaging and slowing down the healing process but you're also making your skin more dehydrated, more sensitive and more prone to bacterial infections because it's so weak, it's, it couldn't even protect itself. So then you start breaking out because your headphones are dirty, your phones are dirty, your pillowcases are dirty because your skin's immune system, the barrier to protect it, isn't there anymore. It's compromised, it's weak. So I've seen a lot of people expressing that the two rules of no oils and then no uh, drying or sensitizing ingredients are limiting their choices since 90% of the skincare in the market are shitty and and contain these ingredients but I feel like if you really want to save money and if you really want to get out of the struggle with acne you really gotta start using real skincare products because the products that you use on a daily basis the products in your daily skincare routine they are the most important. I'm sure you have heard of people who has gone on to Accutane or steroids or birth control to control their acne and once they stop these treatments, their acne comes back, sometimes worse than ever. And then there are also people who goes for really expensive like laser treatments or whatsoever facial treatments um, and they still break out and that's because their daily products, their daily skincare routine sucks. I want to emphasize on the word real skincare because I feel like these days like, so many influencers and YouTubers are just promoting really crappy products and also suggesting really crappy skincare routines like sheet masking twice every day for what and then like wash your face with hot water and then ice your face like <laughs> and then they end their post with like a hashtag take care of your skin and I, I just want to roll my eyes so hard. <laughs> Number three, stop spot treating. So okay, how many of us are actually guilty of drying out our spot as a form of like spot treating? There is actually a period of time last year when every night my skin will just be filled with dots of drying lotion or the um, Innisfree Volcanic Mask. And while I do agree that it could be a quick fix if you have like one or two spots, if you have like a really important event coming up in the next few days and you want it to be gone, um, it really isn't gonna do you any favors in the long run. And especially when you don't just have one or two spots, you have like multiple spots. Drying your spot means drying out your skin and that brings us back to dehydrating your skin and dehydrated skin causes a weakened skin barrier, it causes your skin to be more sensitive, more prone to 
breakouts, more prone to more infections, and in serious cases, it can even lead you to skin diseases such as eczema and rosacea. The bottom line is your skin isn't gonna be healthy, it isn't gonna be clear if you don't treat it with love. Number four, stop overusing products. So I used to think that more product equals more effective and clearly it isn't just me because again, I've seen a lot of YouTubers being like, oh, I'm really generous with my essence and my serums and my moisturizers. I use like three pumps of serums, you know, maximizing benefits. Um, and <laughs> wasting product is one thing, but overloading and clogging your pores is another. Your skin can only absorb that much product. Excess products will only sit on top of your skin and clog your pores. Other than sunscreen, you actually only need like a really thin layer of skincare product on your face so that usually means like a pea-sized amount. So for sunscreens, especially if you live in a country like Singapore where we are so damn near the equator, um, you need at least a quarter teaspoon of sunscreen on your face every single day. This less is small rule also applies to active ingredients, so like retinol, AHA, BHA, uh, benzoyl peroxide. Many people like overusing active ingredients because it gives them the impression that it will work quicker or um, they will get over the purging phase quicker, but no. Uh, I've been there, done that, and it was a horrible mistake. Uh, overusing chemical exfoliants or active ingredients can really damage your skin. It took me two weeks, two whole weeks for my skin to start feeling better again and like an entire month for it to fully recover and it was totally not worth it because uh, it damaged my skin so much I actually broke out so much because of it. Um, also, if the chemical burn is serious, you could be left with a scar. Your skin should always feel comfortable, so no burning, no stinging, no redness. I know a lot of people like to be like, oh it's stinging so it's working. I mean, yes it is working but it is also hurting and damaging your skin and you don't want that. Whenever I feel like my skin is getting irritated, I will immediately cut back on the actives for a couple of days and trust me, you and your skin will thank you for that. In addition to the previous two points, I would like to say stop chasing after quick fixes and do not expect overnight results. There is no such thing. Pimples do not form overnight so they're not going to be gone overnight as well. In the beginning of this year, I kept trying to speed things up. You know, I was drying out spots so they will be gone quicker, I was overusing products and three months later what did I get? I got like a really dehydrated skin. I broke out more and more because my skin was just so weak and frustrated with me. Consistent gentle skincare is the key to healthy skin and healthy skin is clear skin. Finally, number five, start using BHA in your routine. Previously, I was the type of person who will buy and use a product because it is highly raved. You know, a lot of people said that it cleared their acne, so I would try it. And you know, all these times, I was just taking risk, you know, just buying and seeing if it will work or not and hoping that I will be lucky this time around and this product will finally work for me. But then once I started learning about the active ingredients and how it works on our skin, I realized that what I needed all along was BHA. Pimples are formed because of a clogged pores, and clogged pores happens all the time. Even people with clear skin, they have clogged pores. Um, it's just that clog happens underneath our skin, so it happens like weeks and weeks before um, it surfaces up. Uh, and we can see them as pimples. So I realized that what I needed was something that can go deep into my skin to unclog the clogs and that was when I learned about BHA. So if you want to read more about BHA, I actually have a blog post dedicated to BHA. I will link in the description box and I will also um, link the products that I recommend in the description box as well. So those are the five main skincare changes I did in my routine that really helped my skin start becoming healthy and clearer again. I hope this video is helpful and always remember that clear skin is a choice. It is really highly dependent on the products you choose to use on your face and uh, also remember that healing takes time. So it usually takes about two to three months, so be patient. If you want more product recommendations, I did upload my current skincare routine, so you can take a look at that to see the products I'm using and then I also uploaded a few collective reviews of skincare products on my channel so you can watch that as well and I don't usually do this but you can follow me on Instagram because sometimes I do talk about some skincare products on my Insta story. So with that said, we've come to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye!